Hi, I'm Jim Byers, and welcome to the Speed Horse Weekend Wrap-Up. Grade 1 racing returned to Los Alamitos this past weekend, and we'll have results of two major races there, plus stakes results from Sunland Park and Hialeah, and the acting debut for top jockey Cody Jensen. At Los Alamitos on Saturday, it was more good news for Jensen in the Grade 1 Winter Derby. $196,000 in the purse for this 400-yard race. Number one, Viva Mi Corazon broke well for Jensen, but found his best stride partway through, drawing off to win by a length and a quarter. A winner of five out of six lifetime at Los Al, including last year's PCQHRA Breeders Futurity, Viva Mi Corazon went the distance in 19.467 seconds, a 96 speed index. This Texas bred gelding by first down dash, out of the Mr. Jess Perry mare, Miss Sin Tacha, races for champion owners Johnny Trotter and Burnett Ranches. Trey Wood, the trainer. Viva Me Corazon was bred by Bob and Jerry Gaston. Number eight spirit leader won the place photo with the fastest qualifier and race favorite S.S. Pater third. A high class field went postward Sunday night in the grade one Los Alamitos Winter Championship. More than $156,000 in the total purse for this 400 yard test. The fastest qualifier was the only filly in the field, Nellie Delaney, and she obliterated the competition by a length and a half under Raul Valenzuela. A winner of three straight and a multiple graded winner, Nellie Delaney is an Oklahoma bred daughter of FDD Dynasty and the Trey Sace mare Fleeting Touch. Bred by owners Jay Garvin Kelly and Nancy Yearsley, Juan Aleman is the trainer. Nellie Delaney receives the first spot in the 2014 Champion of Champions after going the distance in 19.488 seconds. A big upset at Sunland Park on Sunday, as three-year-old New Mexico breds contested the restricted Grade 2 NMHBA stakes. Number nine, Two Flash For You turned in a handy performance under Larry Gamez to win by a half length at 19 to one. The gelding by first moon flash out of the rare form mare Rare Pie turned in a 97 speed index by going the 400 yards in 18.992 seconds. Bred by Sarah Donaldson, two flash for you races for Jose Espinosa and Jim and Michelle Laird, Wesley Giles, the trainer. In racing news this week, on Tuesday, Canterbury Park Holding Corporation and the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe announced an agreement that allows the band to offer simulcast wagering on horse races at Northern Lights Casino in Walker, Minnesota. The Bemidji Pioneer newspaper also reports that the Minnesota HBPA, Minnesota Quarter Horse Racing Association, and the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe have agreed to use simulcast wagering revenue from the casino to increase live racing purses at Canterbury Park. The agreement is awaiting approval from the National Indian Gaming and Minnesota Racing Commissions. Former top quarter horse jockey John Canis passed away February 7th at his home in California. Born in the Netherlands, Canis came to the U.S. when he was 13. He began galloping horses at 16, then rode the bush tracks in Texas before moving up to paramutual racing. Known as the Dutchman, Canis later established himself as one of the country's leading jockeys, riding champions Duplicate Copy, Triple Lady, and Top Rocket. Canis retired from riding in 1974, but continued to work in the industry until 2008. John Canis passed away at 73 years old. Veteran auctioneer Keith Babb has announced plans to retire from full-time auctioneering at the end of the 2014 sales season. Babb began his career in Lexington, Kentucky, and has conducted major running bred quarter horse sales throughout the country since the mid-70s. Babb's career highlights include the $16 million Phillips Ranch dispersal, the sales of First Down Dash and Tempting Dash, as well as Dashing Follies, history's highest selling quarter horse broodmare. Keith Babb and his wife Carolyn live in Monroe, Louisiana. According to United Florida Horsemen, on February 7th, Florida's First District Court of Appeals affirmed last year's lower court ruling that the Florida Division of Paramutual Wagering did not follow proper rulemaking procedure when it issued a quarter horse paramutual barrel racing license to Gretna Racing, LLC. The Florida HBPA and Florida QHRA say the license was just a low cost way for Gretna to gain approval for a poker room and to hold daily simulcasts. On Thursday afternoon, Remington Park was finally able to open its track for training after eight straight days of sub-freezing temperatures that delayed the original opening date of February 5th. Friday and Saturday afternoon were then filled with training races for unraced two-year-olds. 
Remington's American Quarter Horse and Mixed Breed season opens Friday, March 7th, and continues through June 1st. Quarter Horse Racing's top jockey of 2013, Cody Jensen, recently made his acting debut in the music video titled Second Chance by singer-songwriter David Ben Tyson. Jensen plays the jockey of a horse who is given his second chance at the end of his racing career. The song can be downloaded on iTunes. Part of the proceeds will benefit Red Bucket Equine Rescue, a group dedicated to finding homes for retired equine athletes. You can watch the video featuring jockey Cody Jensen at davidbentyson.com. And that does it for this edition of the show. We hope you'll join us again next week for race recaps and other quarter horse racing news. All right here on the Speed Horse Weekend Wrap-Up.